So let's talk about how to get your screen to look like this. And if you have free show, you can actually have multiple monitors or projectors connected to each other, showing one big screen or one big projection uh, with your lyrics, your scriptures all blended together without there being any uh, gaps or overlays, especially if there's a projector in play, right? But for computer monitors, it'll be a little bit different. And so I've got mine set up to where I've got two computer monitors right next to each other. And those two computer monitors are identical in size. And so I wanted them to be full width across both monitors, but the same height across both as well, right? So their default was, I had them set to 1920 by 1080. I changed that in the settings. And so I'll show you the settings that I needed to change. Um, the first one was I had to choose a screen and I had to go to change output values up here at the top. When I do that, I have to turn this on to allow custom output position and size. And then I went down to the width and I made it 3840, which is two times 1920. OK, I kept the height the same because that didn't change. But if you had, you know, four TVs, you know, in a square setup to where it's two at the top, two at the bottom, then that would change. You would double that as well. Um, and so that would be something to consider. Right. Because it's two times the height and then they would be blended all together. Now, once you do that, that's great. The thing that you would do next is you would need to go to edge blending if necessary to blend those edges together. Um, and make that work. I didn't need to make any changes on this uh, page for me, but if you were to do it, so if you go and blend the right, you'll see I've got it at 50% opacity. You'll see this blending kind of grade, gradation or whatnot, kind of gradient coming out of the left side. And you would do the same thing. If you go to the right, you'll see it come to the right as well. And that's how you would blend your edges together if you had them next to each other on left and right. Um, for me, mine's are right next to each other and that's it. There's nothing on the outside of them, right? And so I can change these back to zero. And one thing I learned is that it does slow down the system a little bit when you're in these settings making this change. So be patient with it. Um, and I'm gonna come back out. But as you do that, that's something to consider, especially if you've got projectors, you may have to use that so that you can make those be side by side without there being any um, any gaps, right, consistently. And you just change that opacity down here to reflect that if need be, all right? So I changed the output values, uh, adjusted the edge blending if needed. And then we go over to the styles. And this is key if you want it to all overlap across each other, especially with it being that much wider for me, especially. And so I had to go to the resolution for what is my default output, because that's the one I have for my primary or my default style, because that's the one I have for my primary output. And so I went down to the resolution for it and I made it 3840 by 1080 and I had to manually change that. And so now all my slides are gonna cross over that whole uh, width. And what you'll notice is that when I made that change, I had to manually go in and adjust my slides so that they could actually fit because these were all aligned to the left based on that change in the resolution. So I had to go into the edit tab up here in the middle and I had to go in and I had to shift everything to be centered in the middle. You notice that some of these I haven't even changed over yet, but I just grab this and move it over to the center and I can do the same thing with this one, move it over to the center this page as well move it over to the center and this as well and this just ensures that everything is going to cross over both screens as opposed to just being off to the side on one because when i made this slide this slide show it was actually a um 1920 by 1080 all right and so all those are centered up now if i go back to my show and i refresh you'll see that it's all there and it looks like this. All right, so that is how you make those type of changes to where you have multiple screens, but they're blended together, right? To where they're not two separate monitor outputs, they're blended together. And go back, reset to those changes I made. So styles, we changed the resolution here to represent the width that I wanted. And I just doubled the 1920. And then for output, we had to go to choose screen, 
we had to change the output values and then we had to do edge blending as needed and when you go to change output values you want to allow custom output now if you're like me you've got a mac okay i got an m1 macbook pro and i had to go to my settings all right so you want to go to your settings and go to desktop and dock and when you go to desktop and dock you're going to i'm at the top now but you want to scroll all the way down to the bottom and there's this option that says displays have separate spaces you want to deactivate that and that's the key that got me uh tripped up when i was trying to set this up i had to work or talk with the developers of free show to figure out how do i make this work because only one screen was showing half of my slides um, i had to go into displays have separate spaces in my apple macbook settings to make that be consistent across both screens because otherwise it'll just show one and not the other but the resolution will be right it's just going to be split and you're not going to see the other half all right and so you have to turn on displays have or turn off i should say displays have separate spaces